Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I am the artist and maker behind Denim and Rain. This is my little place on YouTube where I chat about all the things. So hello and welcome. All right, if you hang around to the end of the episode, there will be a little um, a giveaway. Did you hear me? A giveaway. Um, so details about that later on in the episode. But for now, I have all the things to share with you. All right, so I'm gonna show the most boring finished object ever. Bam, we have a dishcloth. Um, this is the grandma's favorite dishcloth or something like that. Uh, it'll be linked below. And this is just some white cotton yarn. It's being blown out because, well, it's bright white. Um, I'm thinking about maybe ice dyeing it. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this finished object, done. Okay, so the next thing I have, um, funny thing is a few days ago I recorded an episode, but it was so bad, so, so bad. Like, yeah, it, mm, the quality was just, I'm still getting used to my camera, the lighting outside was bad, just everything was not good. Um, so when I recorded that a few days ago, I guess it was a week ago now. Um, I had talked about casting this project on. Well, I did later that day and then finished it in two days. Um, I cast on some new socks. So this is the Knit Picks Felici. This is Rustic Cabin. This, however, I did cut a color out of. Right after this nice, like, creamy neutral color, after that was an ob it wasn't obnoxious, but um, how do I put this? It was like a cooler, a cooler neutral. So this is a warm, a fairly warm color. And then right next to it was like almost like a, a minty green color that was like cooler. It was like wanted to be white, but it wasn't white. I didn't like it. I knit this color, I knit the minty color, I knit the yellow, and then I knit the orange, and then realized I really didn't like that, so I ripped back to this color, and every time that color came up, I just cut it out. So, whatever. I don't know what the Knit Picks team was thinking, putting those two colors like that are similar, but just different tones. It was a bad idea. So yeah, I knit a pair. I knit the pair. Knit the pair. Um, the heels, Toes and cuffs are Winnie Joe fibers in the colorway Teak. You will see this colorway come up again in a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, the socks, they match, but not exactly. I didn't do, I didn't bother with trying to make them identical because, well, I didn't want to. Also, I was playing a little bit of the orange chicken because I cut out a color. I did have less yarn. Um, so the socks are a touch shorter than I would like them to be. They are a little snug lengthwise on my feet, which is fine. They'll still fit just a little snugger. So yeah, I've got a pair of socks. I woven the ends on the first one. I have not woven in the ends on the second. I have this thing where I start, once I finish the first sock, I weave in the ends immediately once I'm done with the Kitchener. And then once I get to the second sock, for whatever reason, I never do that. I don't know why, but that's what happens. It's fine. I will sew in the ends at some point in time. Okay, so the next thing I have finished is a pattern that is currently in testing. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this. Um, these are the Here Come the Socks. Do, 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 do. Yes, it is named after a Beatles song because we love the Beatles in this house. Um, so the yarn, the Heels, toes, and cuff are knit in Winnie Joe fibers, oat. And then the rest of the sock is knit out of Emma's yarn in Wish You Were Beer. These are DK socks. Um, yeah, I love them. It's almost like gingham, but in texture form, not in color form, which I love so, so much, so, so much. Can't even tell you how much. Just gonna tell you, I might be adjusting the light a little bit because, well, 
it's there's a very thin cloud cover today so it's like every now and then it gets to a thinner patch and then it's like really bright and then next thing you know it's kind of dark again so it's how it goes around here in spring in the pacific northwest but i have two socks <laughs> see notice again first one woven the ends second one i have not uh, I don't know why it's a thing, but it is. So yes, we have this pair of finished socks. Um, it is current, I don't know if I said, I think I said, maybe I didn't, uh, but this is in testing at the moment. Um, I don't have a release date for it quite yet. I will wait to see um, once I get a little bit of feedback coming in from my testers to see how much work I'm gonna need to do. I don't think the pattern should need really any work, but that's why it goes through testing because you never know. All right, so now we're moving into works in progress. And the first one is a half finished object, which is the same sock pattern, but a shorty version. So this is the Here Come the Socks shorty version. I have, wow, uh, Winnie Joe Fibers, Teak again for the cuff heel and toe and then this yarn is a weird combo of my hand dyed yarn slash a I over dyed a yarn I didn't like it I don't have a label for it um I didn't like the blue it was a little too blue for me so I over dyed with some green to get this really pretty tonal it's got some like greens and then the blue really comes through yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I wasn't going to love it in the previous color, but I really enjoy it now. Um, so yeah, I have the shorty one. I, yeah, I really like it. My, f I want to make a couple of pairs of shorties, like DK shorties for myself for summer because my feet, my feet are cold year round. <laughs> I have pretty poor circulation, like my hands are always cold. The other day we were somewhere that was pretty warm and I touched my sister and she was like, what the crap? She's like, your hands are so cold. My hands are always cold. Like it's pretty rare that my hands get sweaty or my feet get sweaty. Like it's just not a thing because I've got such bad circulation. Um, so even in summer, in the mornings, I wear socks. So I kind of want some shorty socks to wear so that way my legs don't get warm because my legs don't have this problem. It's just my feet. Um, so yeah, want to knit some more. I'm excited to do this, but before I cast on the next shorty sock, I had I had to cast on another full size of this pattern because I made a I didn't make a boo boo. I mean, I sort of did, but I just completely overlooked a very important thing about this pattern repeat. Um, so the pattern repeat is over eight stitches. It's like four stitches and four stitches and four stitches and four stitches um, in my head because it's four stitches and four stitches, four stitches. Like within that eight, there's two sections of four. Um, but in my head, I was thinking it's a four stitch. So there are two sizes that the pattern doesn't really fit in because, yeah. <laughs> so I had to cast on another pair of tall ones so I can test an adjustment to it. So basically I'm just adding like a little pearl ridge down the sides, which is working out beautifully. Um, and I'm loving this color. I also decided to make a budget friendly yarn option. So this is Lion Brand Wool Ease. This top one is called Umber. And this is, I believe the mm, natural heather. So, and then it's got one of my little stitch markers coming soon. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to have this one actually because then it'll be really pretty. I'll have, wow, hold it a second here. Then I'll have a really nice collection for photos because I have not taken photos yet, but how cute are these together? So yeah, I have, let's see. I have probably like a couple more pattern repeats because I want it. I like a longer leg on my socks. So yeah, working on those. I'm excited to finish. 
because I have other things I want to work on. I don't want to keep working on the same socks over and over and over again. I love them, and I'm very excited actually to have several pairs of them, but I want to work on something else. So yeah, and on to the next thing. All right, I have in my project bag the Songbird Handmade project bag. This it's my favorite project bag at the moment. Um, it's very springy and light and colorful. Um, but living in here, I have my Christmas socks. Yes, more socks. I haven't worked on these much. Um, I have maybe a couple more rows and then I need to start on the heel. Um, but this is Oaken Fiber, their Christmas colorway, um, old sweet shop. Um, it was a sock set, with this cute little mini skein. And I'm just doing a three by one rib on here you have my market little mug stitch marker which i love um i knit my socks this is a 64 stitch sock on two and a half millimeter so yeah i just need to get onto the heel and then once i finish with the heel i'm sure the foot will cruise usually it's like once i get past the heel socks go pretty fast for me it's just that, can I, I don't know why the leg is so different for me than the foot, because the foot is the same length as the leg and more stitches with the gusset. So I don't know why, for me, the leg takes so long. No idea. Okay, my next project, uh, which should have been done by now, is not done, um, but I have a sweater for my son. It is a very dark blue, like this is what it looks like. <laughs> Um, I'll try and get it in the light a little bit so you can kind of see the color. Um, but I'm just knitting him. Wow, super blurry, out of focus, whatever. Um, I mean, yeah, there's just no real good way of showing off a super dark blue. I mean, there, you can kind of, better. Um, but anyways, I finished the body, I finished the sleeve, I just need to finish the other sleeve. And I'm actually going to um, rip out the ribbing on the bottom of this and knit a bit more length onto it because um yeah it fits him actually really good it hits him perfectly but it's mm, we're in spring which means he's probably not going to wear it too much more so i want him to fit in it in winter this next year so i'm going to like the body and the sleeves are bigger so I need the length of the body to also be a little bit bigger so it's a little more even so we can grow into it. He's pretty small. He's like a small six-year-old, almost six-year-old, um, but yeah. So I just, I need to finish that other sleeve. I kind of lost steam on it because I know I have to rip out the body, but if I just get it, like the sleeve took me like one evening. So if I just like knit that other sleeve, the body, knitting a little more length on the body will also only take me like one evening. Um, so yeah, just need to work on that. But for me, I've been working on a sweater, that V-neck sweater that I started. Bam. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so this is a raglan with a really pretty um, mock cable going down the raglan increases. And then I have going down the side of the body the same mock cable with pearl stitches between. Um, it's gonna be a nice v-neck. There will be a ribbed collar on it. Yeah, and I just, just started the other night doing the ribbing on the bottom, along with a couple of decreases in here. I think I might do one more row of decreases. Um, so yeah, and then on here I have my Hello Lavender Stitch Marker. I also have up here a Progress Keeper. My Hello Gabriella Stitch Marker, which is super pretty. So yeah, I'm excited about this. This is being knit out of Mary Maxim's 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca. I believe it's called Woodlands, and I do not remember the color name. Um, but I really like how tonal this color is. It, it's not just like s completely solid. I can see some slight color changes, which is surprising to me for an acrylic and like 
commercial yarn. But I really like it. It's very pretty. Um, we'll see how that yarn wears. Um, it was one I bought years ago from Joann's, I think. I had a gift card, so I just bought some. And it's been sitting on my stash shelf for a while now. I've known I wanted to knit a v-neck sweater out of it, so I'm excited to finally be working on that. I am sort of working on a pattern for it. We'll see if I actually write it and release it. But I am taking notes as I go. Okay, and then as far as things I've purchased recently, I haven't, I'm trying not to buy any more yarn at the moment. I like to knit through some of my stash before I get new things. Um, but I did buy some new stitch markers from Hello Lavender. She just did a collaboration with um, Coast to Coast Yarn and they did mushrooms. And I friggin' love mushrooms. We live in the Pacific Northwest where we get tons and tons and tons of mushrooms. I have usually a little cluster that comes up in my front yard, which I, I love them so much. They make me happy. Um, so yes, I had to get the little mushroom stitch markers. Super cute. I can't wait to put them on a project. Probably my next cast on. We'll have those ones go on there. Um, but that's it for any knitting stuff. I do have a couple of art things that I finished recently that I thought I'd show you because yes. Um, this one I'm not super excited about, but I did finish this one. Bam. A little cityscape. It's not particularly exciting and not in the colors I really love, but uh, I'm practicing, so it doesn't really matter. I'm building my skills, so yeah, that's what that one is. Next one is probably my most favorite lately. I mean, that's not true. There's another one that I really like. Uh, kind of goes across the two pages, and then next to it is a cute little floral one. But I love this painting. It makes me happy. I love the colors in it. Um, and then the next page is so good. Um, so first is a little forest. I'm trying to see if it's in focus. I'm like ducking underneath. Hi. Um, <laughs> um, I love the lighting in this one. I think it's really pretty. Um, but this one. Oh, this one is my favorite. I kind of want to make this one into a larger print for one of my walls. It's so pretty. I love the lighting. This page is both of them make me very happy. I love it so very, very much. Um, yeah, I think that's all I did for that one. Um, and then I did get a new vertical sketchbook because though I like the horizontal, I also like to do vertical ones. Um, so yeah, I've only done one in here. We've got this little spring forest. So, yeah, nothing too exciting. Again, just practicing building my skills with painting. So now, giveaway time. Okay, so for the giveaway, the winner is going to receive some beautiful stitch markers made by yours truly. So, wow, this is super blown out. Um, we have their Technically, like, they have the lever back, but I use these also as stitch markers as well as progress keepers. Come on. Um, these are white with gold leaf in them. Super pretty. And then this one has white and gold and just all these beautiful, beautiful colors. So you will win both of these. Um, all you need to do is comment down below. Um, what you're looking forward to most this spring. Oh gosh, yarn floof! I don't think there is any like fiber YouTuber who has not like gotten floof up their nose. And if they have, they hide it because let me tell you, the amount of floof, because you're just like agitating everything. But anyways, I digress. And then for an extra entry, what you can do is share on Instagram that you are subscribed to my channel to share with all of your friends you know, come check it out. So anyways, I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out all the links down below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Bye.